Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on Fate Zero Episode 2. Now, this episode had nothing much going on of what's here and there, but it seems like to me things are starting to like um show a couple things show a couple things which is um starting to reveal certain colors of what's to come later, you know? Those of you who even watched Fate Zero or even watched the Fate series should understand what was to come. And those of you who are still wondering like I said, I'm just doing this for fun and to prep up for Heaven's Feel next year around, okay? Okay, so let's go. We have to it that our boy Waver sees that Ryder breaks out of the sit breaks out of a freaking like um garage like door or something, or however you wanna call it, which I don't really know. Um with some books in hand. And therefore Waver ends up saying, Why don't you just be in your spirit form or something, you know? And of course, Ryder says, I can't do that because I won't be able to carry these books with me. And later on, looks it looks like it's the maps of the world and so forth, and they end up having a little small talk here and there, you know? And then Ryder's thing about like, returning to Macedonia triumphantly after like ruling a couple lands here and there, and so forth. Of course, we have some funny moments about like um, Ryder asking Waver, like, um, so, what do you want of the Grail? When they talked about when they are talking about the Grail War, you know, Waver says I want people to recognize me and not freaking diss on me and my talents. And Ryder ends up smacking him in the face and says, "Dude, your ambition is so small and pathetic. If you want a real wish, grow thirty centimeters tall." I think about my ah, <laughs> talk about being doped on, you know. And Waver was about to use his command seals to make him obey him but I guess that did not happen because he knows like um he only has three commands that can make him make him obey him you know and therefore like um Waver says as long as I get the grail and Ryder says yeah 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 I get it you want to get the grail I'll get it for you that's it and therefore Waver goes like huh you sound a little confident in what you say you could get can I show me the way how Waver says it has said his words to Ryder and so forth and Ryder so goes like, you want me to show you my power? And Waver's like, yeah, show me your power. And therefore, Ryder ends up summoning his grand chariot or something, or his chariot, how you want to call it, which I've forgotten its name, but one thing was sure, it's like um, it was a gift from Zeus himself, or you could call it King Gorias, which is really cool. And of course, there is some moments between Elias Feel after like um, the Wave and Rider scene with Kiritsuko playing a walnut game, finding these walnut buds or something. And you know, those of you who watched Fate Zero, and of course I did, of course I'm just be watching it for the fun and just prepping up for Heaven's Feel next year. It's just too sad to even look at, you know? I mean, when I'm just watching this episode the first time very long ago, behind the scenes by the way, very two years ago, if anything, that's when Unlimited Blade Wars anime came out, and that's when I started watching Fate Zero. It's so damn sad to see this thing to come to light, you know, and so forth. Of course, Iris Feel and Saber does talk about each other, does talk to each other, seeing how Kurita's going to use the Grail to save the world, while Saber wants to use the Grail to save her country, Britain. And of course, her, of course, Kurita is pretty upset about um seeing Saber herself and then we can we can understand why. Of course like more of that is in deep in deep death shown later in later in the series, possibly later. And of course it's later. And we have to it that because like um seeing how how like Kuritsugu won't see eye to eye with the king of Arturia, it's not gonna happen. Of course some moments between Kiritsugu and Elias Field is still sad at the moment because like um seeing how Elias Field goes like you see mama says like um no matter what no matter what I she may be going away going to go away for a while I'll still hold on to hope or something and then she'll be with me forever. It's really sad to see that Elias Field would not know what she really means by like um I will be going away for a while. She's a kid still, but later on she'll understand. As Kiritsugu tells her to hold on and wait for her for about for a while, I'll come by and pick you up and we'll play the match again, you know? Walnut finding and so forth. 
Oh man, just looking at those um, scenes with Kirichigu and Elias Bio is just too sad and tragic to understand these kinds of happy lifetime moments that you may get in one lifetime but you'll never see at certain points at all. Besides all that, we go to a scene where this guy is apparently making some kind of symbol and ends up being known as the demon. Of course, y'all know who that is. That's Iru Ryunosuke or Ryunosuke, how you wanna say it. All of a sudden, she somehow summons Caster, you know? Which is known to be the seventh servant. And of course, Ryunosuke is a master because command seals appear on his hand. Right hand or something, I don't know, but... Yeah, you guys get the cue. As Ryunosuke gave him an offering to the little kid who the, who had a mother that gotten killed. Apparently, we have to it that um, Casta let the boy go and tells him to escape as by giving him directions. But apparently, that boy gets eaten up or killed in a certain way. The first time I watched this scene, I'm like, what the hell? Holy crackalack, possibly, in behind the scenes of when I first time watched episode 2 of Fate Zero, you know? That kind of thing. After seeing what um, Caster did, he just, Ryunosuke decides to follow him and wants to see what he wants to follow him everywhere he goes and show him many, war, many ways how to kill people. And therefore, Caster was delighted to have such a to have such a master like that, you know? And as for as for Kire himself, he orders his assassin to go take care of the defenses and kill Tokiyomi. Although the assassin goes like, yo, don't you like um have an alliance with Tokiyomi? But Kire's like, that doesn't matter. Don't be too concerned about that. Of course we understand why like Kire is doing this. And he also tells like um Tokiomi, if you see Archer, you have nothing to fear. And we have two of the assassins, we see two of the assassin's skills as a um, defense bypasser is pretty impressive as he dodged and gotten rid of certain defenses. And just before he was about to like get rid of one main defense that's like the source of it all, he gets stabbed by a spear and Archer himself goes like, who asked you to like him stare upon me and look into the sky, huh? A worm like you, who belongs to the ground, must wiggle and crawl his way and stare down to the ground until it dies. And he ruthlessly killed Assassin. I'm like, holy crud, man. Talk about some serious stuffings here and there. And so forth. So, you could say episode 2 is just prepping up a bit. Of course, there's only a couple, there's like... A scene with Ryder and Waver, and then the scene with like um, Kiritsugu, Elias View, Iris View, and Saber in separate like scenes, you know? They're not all together in one like um, picture, but yeah. Of course, there's the summoning of the third. I mean, I mean, and th of course, there's the summoning of the final servant and master, Caster. And then Assassin is ordered to go to Tokiomi's. Um, place and try and eliminate the defenses and kill Tokiomi but gets butchered by Archer in the end. <laughs> Talk about a way to say so, huh? So overall, I guess it's a prep up episode, you know? Like I said, those of you guys like um who's been keeping up with me and my channel, I'm just doing this for fun and so forth. Nothing more, you know? And prep me up for Heaven's Field next year, which I look forward to. So not too bad. Looking forward, looking forward to like um, next week when I start doing when I continue doing my Fate Zero recaps, you know, throughout like um the months and weeks, you know, yada yada yada. You guys get the cue. So I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm a Fazero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye. Doo -doo -doo.